Welcome to Graph Tutorials. I'm Shiva and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can use and make a grid in Adobe Illustrator. So Illustrator has a building grid which you can access by going to View and then choosing Show Grid. This grid overlaps your entire area. You can adjust certain things here. Uh, if you go to Edit, Preferences and then choose General then you go to the guides and grid. Here you can give a custom color to the guide and the grid. You can say, I want my guides to be dark red. Uh, you, I want it in lines or even dots if you would like. Um, I want the grid to be uh, gray or something else. Maybe you want it a bit darker gray. And you can also say if you want lines or dots. Here you can also say how many pixels you want to have between every grid line you can say I want 80 and you can choose how many subdivisions you like and then if you deselect the grids in back then the grid will be on top of your object objects um, so if you keep it selected then the grid will always be in the back which is most of the time the better option and if you then press ok you will see that Illustrator adjusts the grid like you said it had to be. Now, if you take a rectangle and you start drawing just like this, you can see it doesn't really snap to anything. So if you go to view, you can choose snap to grid. And in this case, if you then make an, a rectangle, you can see it now snaps to every guide in your grid. Now, if your rectangle has a stroke instead of a fill, and let's say that the stroke is 16 points, just to show you what I want to say, then you would think, oh, it doesn't really snap because the stroke is outside of the grid. And in this case, it is the, pa it is the path that snaps to the grid. And if you want your fill to also, or your stroke to also snap to the grid, you have to align it inside or outside of your pot. And then it also snaps. That's it for the building grid in Illustrator. Now let's deactivate this grid by going to view and choosing hide grid. You can also make your own grid. And the way to do that is by using the grid tool, which is underneath the line segment tool. So if you have the line segment tool and you keep pressing it, you get the other tools visible and then you can choose the rectangular grid tool. With that one selected, if you press once on your artboard, here you have several options which you can adjust to your liking. Let's say you want 200 pixels and 200 pixels and you want six horizontal and six vertical dividers you can also skew it but if you're really going to use it for guides uh, when drawing things i think that skewing isn't really helpful and then you can use the outside as a recta rectangle or you can fill your grid if you then press ok you have created a grid now if you want to use this grid as a guide and you have to select this one and with this one selected you go up to view then you go to guides and then you say make guides now this one has become a guide which you created yourself and which you can now use for drawing things inside of illustrator as a guide so quick look at the building grid in Illustrator and how you can make your own custom guide. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the video. Also be sure to press the like button if you did. Press the subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more of my videos. And for now, stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.